Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin and today I'm going to show you some plants that aren't doing so great. There's some that I know for sure are kind of too far gone, but I'm, I'm still gonna try to see if they'll survive. And there's some that don't look as bad. So like a whole array of, you know, different kind of situations. And yeah, I hope y'all are ready. Again, I'm a little embarrassed to show these plants, but it's definitely a very, very important aspect to show you guys. Just because it happens to everyone and we all have lives and we might get a little too busy and we might like forget that plant on the ground over there. And I feel like that's the majority of this list. So I guess I'll jump into the first plant, which looks it looks bad. The first plant is the Syndapsis parakensis. So this one looks really bad and it's such a shame because I never really had the opportunity to see this plant grow to its full potential. I'm just remembering now that I was a bit mean to it. I did knock it over. I, I mean the Monstera knocked her over, not me. But um, here's a picture. I thought the roots were fine actually. Like they didn't look bad. There was a runner, but then it started drying out. I decided to cut that runner off because there were two new growth points on the side. And I guess I'll grab her. Oh my God, you look so rough. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, she can't even like see the plant, but she is like just leaves. Oh my gosh, look at the crispinesses. Do you hear the crispinesses? But there are still, why so she had these two leaves <laughs> it's funny guys it's so it's so ugly <laughs> okay so she had these two leaves i can pull them off right now yep you're gone and this one over here Ooh. but actually okay i thought this one was like totally dead but taking the two leaves off you could actually see these growth points are it looks to me at least they look okay. I'm actually going to pull the plant out of the leka because I have a suspicion that there's root rot. We're gonna see what's going on. Um, it's coming out really easily, so maybe they oh. No. Uh, why? <laughs> look at this. Root rot. <laughs> okay, here's the stem. All of these, mushy. You could just pull them off really easily. Okay, so we're left with this stem and like two growth points. So there's a chance I might cut this top part. I don't know, I think I could save it. It looks really sad, guys. I always try to feel the last, ooh, actually. Oh no, oh no. Okay, do you see the center part? And like it expanding outwards, that is like mushy. So I think that's, rot so you know guys i think i'm gonna have to cut above that part to save this plant oh my god <laughs> so because this part is very squishy i'm gonna have to cut up here i do not like this we're gonna do it it just fell into the garbage i don't even know i don't even know <laughs> okay so you could see that i just cut right above that and now with this one, there is an adventitious root here. I think we're gonna have to cut this way. I'm really not hopeful because because usually new leaves, they just, um, you know, they terminate themselves when they don't have a root system and when they're under stress. So I'm gonna put this in a prop box, but I don't think they're going to survive. Okay, <laughs> so the first, plat or what's left of it is the syndapsis paracensis. Okay, so the second plant that's not doing so great is the aglionema. What kind are you? It's a Chinese evergreen, like one of the common ones. I feel horrible because um, my boyfriend's family gave this to me a couple years ago, I think. And when I had the Christmas tree up, I didn't have a place for this plant. And so I put, her on the ground. Against the window though, she was getting enough light, but I just forgot to water her. And it's it's such a shame because she's in a self-watering pot in pond. So <laughs> I'm looking at her. So many dry leaves, guys. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> so like I said, the cause of this is definitely underwatering. Like I said, she has enough light. She was against my west facing window. And I don't know, there just came a point where I just forgot that I had a plant it's behind my couch, so I guess like obviously, Kevin, duh. You could see in the top here, there are some green leaves, which look amazing. I'm just gonna take the dead leaves off. Oh, that just came right off, y'all, this situation. Okay. <laughs> she looks so naked. Hi. Here she is. So now I'm going to... Oh my gosh, it dried up so much, guys. Look at the end. This isn't even the end with the roots, but it is squishy. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. When I see that there's rot, I usually cut, um, you know, above the part where there's rot. So I'll do that now. And do you know what? The cross section looks healthy. Look at that, guys. No browning, no yellowing. When I push it, there's no squishinesses around it. And so I'm going to, I mean, who knows if this one's going to survive. I'm gonna let the end callus over and then I'm gonna put it into water. It seems like there's a root system still. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this down here. <coughs> it's so dry that there was so much dust. Oh my gosh, okay, so. <laughs> You know when something's so dry, you touch it? It just <laughs> comes apart, I hate this. Like, look, I could just like go like this. <laughs> There's like dust everywhere. <gasps> Whoa, okay, so these are like the two that just... Okay, I don't know if y'all can see the dust, but this is like shocking to me. I don't like it. I don't like it. <clears throat> Again, all these roots, you will not be able to save these. In situations where the roots get so dry, that is not coming back. So at this point, I just cut off all the roots or just at this point, you could just pull them off because they're so dry. There's a main stem over here. There's an offshoot growing this way. I've had experiences, I guess mainly with Hoyas, that older parts of the stem of Hoyas don't tend to root that easy. So I think I might cut this plant in two. So I might cut it here um, just to see if this fresher part will root okay. Like there, like how do we feel? I've never like, propagated like <laughs> <laughs> so i am left with these three stems and <laughs> these leaves over here i just washed them a little bit but the second plant is the agleonema whatever it is so the third plant is one I'm very sad about. And it is one of my philodendron Jose Bono propagations. I thought she was doing okay. I have her at the very like back of, of my table. And so I don't really look at her a lot, but I'll just grab her because I just want to show you how awful. Okay, so here she is. So this leaf existed already. So she's whatever, she's fine. As the leaves grew, I was finding that the leaves started to yellow a little bit. And this is the newest leaf. It might not show on camera, but it's really yellow. She is pushing out a new leaf over here, guys. So I thought she was fine, but then I saw this. Look at the stem here. I don't even know how that happened. Like it looks to me that maybe I pulled it and it bent the stem. But that's, I don't know if that's anything that can spread, but like, I'm trying to like keep it very far away from like all my other plants. It doesn't smell bad. Okay, this is gross, look away. Okay, so, okay, do you see that? If I push, just, there's a, oh, uh, I ate it, I ate it. Okay, there's a slight smell, maybe. So here's the thing I'm annoyed about. 
if I take just a cut of here, this growth, top growth point will die. It'll shrivel up and die. So I was thinking about air layering this part so I could cut it after, but like, I don't want this to spread. Do you know what I mean? Also, like I could save the bottom part of the plant. Do you know what I mean? Because the rotten stem is only this middle part. Like below that, there's nothing. And I mean, I guess I won't know until I actually take it out. Cause like root wise guys, she's still doing okay. Like you could see those roots and they're not like brown or rotten, they're like white. This is what I've decided. I'm just going to, with the fear of this spreading, I'm going to just cut right here to save this top cutting. And then I'm just gonna cut right below here for, to save this. I think there might be a node somewhere below the stem. This is actually the first time I've experienced like stem rot. Like it's, this is really strange to me. So we're just gonna cu cut this part. I don't like that. I don't like that. And just to show you guys, this part of the stem was totally fine. So that rot didn't make its way up. Then I am left with this beauty again over here. And the one yellow, this is so yellow. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, but she's yellow. So again, I'll let this callus over and then I'm, I might put it in water first or I might put it straight into pond. I don't know if y'all can't see future Kevin zoom in. I'm just going right below the rod. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, and I mean, I don't even know what happened there. Yeah, so unfortunately, this one is a goner. So guys, I'm just looking for like a growth point or a bud. Oh, there is one here. I won't be able to show you guys, but there's definitely a new part, a new place where a new plant can grow. So again, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. I am not going to water it. The soil is on the drier side, but you could see some droplets on this side. So she can tolerate a few more days. I don't want to shock, you know, the plant. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is, put it under my grow light against my west facing win window. And I find personally that if you have at least one leaf, and in this case, like one large leaf, it'll help speed things up when it comes to that new growth point. Obviously plants need the sun to photosynthesize. And so, yeah, I'm gonna put this back. But the second, oh, I mean, the third plat is the Philodendron Jose Bono. Oh my God, guys, it's an umbrella. Oh my God, also, <laughs> I don't know if y'all see these bananas, but oh my gosh. Okay, are these still okay to eat? Cause I know there's some people that I know they just love when they get to the stage. Um, but I feel like I might just wait a little longer and then I might make a banana bread. Okay, so the fourth plant is one I am very, very sad about. It is the Phalaenopsis Miki Japanese Pearl. I definitely overwatered her. I think I mentioned this before, but then because I was so scared, I just let it dry out too much and the leaves, the leaves look bad, guys. She sits here in my west facing window, but I'll just grab her. Oh, a flower just fell off. Oh my God, it just came out by itself. I'm so embarrassed. This one I'm so embarrassed about because I was going off about how beautiful these flowers were. So there's only two left. They actually feel fine. Um, you know, if I didn't look at the leaves, <laughs> they would look okay. But look at these leaves, they're so, so floppy. Do you see how floppy these leaves are? She was in sphagnum moss. Oh my God, this is so sad. You could see the remains. This is bad guys, oh my gosh. This is bad, this is bad. <laughs> so this is what's left, all crispy. Do you hear it? Super crispy. And I'm just gonna start cutting guys. Um, a lot of you have recommended um, Miss Orchid Girl. She is great and she has so many videos. Oh my gosh. I am thoroughly impressed. Oh my God, I'm like panicking. 
Anyways, she's great. <laughs> and I think her method, she obviously takes off all of the dried up dead roots, which is what I'm doing now. She also cuts off the spike because I mean, along with every other plant, spikes or flowers in general, they take so much energy, so many nutrients for the from the plant. So if you want to, you know, give your plant the best chance when it's coming from like zero roots here, you need to cut off the spike. And I'm really sad about it because she is gorgeous. I don't know if she's ever gonna bloom for me anytime soon. Okay, so this is all I have left of the root system. Um, this root actually feels pretty good. What I'm very excited about, and I'm just noticing this now, there was a little bit of a bulge here. And when you roll your finger over it, you could feel that there's something potentially there. Over there, I think that's a root trying to come out because it's like green. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna cut this off. Oh my gosh, let's just look at how pretty they look. Oh my God, they're so pretty guys. Always cut closest to the bottom here. So here we are. Now we're just going like that, guys. <sighs> no! So you could see clearly, oh my God, especially the oldest leaf. Look at her. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> so because a lot of Phalaenopsises are epiphytic plants, they need a lot of aeration around the roots. So I think I watched a video of hers where she just kind of like plopped it on a bed of sphagnum moss without like constricting like the root system. So I might do that. And again, guys, no guarantees. This, I mean, in my opinion, I feel like this is just gonna die, but I wanna try it. I wanna try reviving it. Hopefully it works. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab a Ziploc, put some sphagnum moss, and then just rest it on the bed of sphagnum moss. Then close this a little bit just so there's humidity for the roots. Just about halfway. Okay. I guess you could see better from this side. But I'm just resting it and then I'm going to close the ziplock. I might put this in the container so it just sits upright and I'm going to put it under a grow light. Okay, so here we are. Let me know guys if this is incorrect because maybe I'm slightly suffocating that part. But anyhow, the fourth plant, right, is the Phalaenopsis Miki Japanese Pearl. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so the next plant is the Philodendron Snowdrift. <sighs> okay, so where do I begin? So this plant, I just love when the leaves come out like really cream, really white. But the thing with that, and it's very similar to the Philodendron Florida Ghost, where if they have too much and not enough green, the moment you move them away from like a high light situation, the leaves tend to drop. And because I was trying to make room for plants to sit under a grow light, I moved this one onto the ground not quite against the window and I feel like it didn't get enough light and I have a sneaky suspicion that it has root rot and guys she's in LECA. One thing with LECA people think that root rot is like not a thing that happens. It can happen in any medium guys. People think that it's something that doesn't happen because there's a lot of aeration you know, between the pieces of LECA, between the roots. But again, there's other factors. Again, root rot is caused by a pathogen and not necessarily the water or like overwatering. Overwatering or like a really, really wet and moist situation just is the best breeding ground for that kind of pathogen. Okay, so I'm gonna grab her. I'm like really sad about her. <sighs> Philodendron snowdrift. And this is that leaf that we all love. <laughs> Um, I think I last showed her and she had like five leaves. They all fell. So look at her guys, cute. And then as I was picking this plant up, this leaf fell. So here we are. Okay. I'm just bringing a towel guys. Cause I want to show you uh, what's left of the root system. Cause I don't, I'm not even sure what's left. A week ago, I pulled off this rotten bundle of roots so you can't really see 
any here, but I'm just gonna pull it out because I think I could easily pull it out, guys. Yeah, I can. No, I hate this. There's so much rot, there's so much rot. There is so much rot. Oh, honey. I'm like pulling these off so easily. Oh yeah. You know, once your roots are stripping like this, I'm easily just stripping it. That's when you know it's too far gone. I haven't lost hope, but I still have that Everything's so squishy. I still have that same, you know, fear because there's not a lot of green in the leaves that they might just fall off. Okay, so it's it wasn't stem rot because I'm feeling the bottom. It's not squishy at all. I think it was just mainly the plant not getting enough uh, light resulting in um, the plant not being able to sus sustain its root system. But yeah, this isn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> so... Again, I'm just taking off a lot of the dead roots here. Okay, I think we got the majority. I mean, there's like barely any roots here. But one thing that I like to do, and I would recommend, is if you have a whole bunch of stem here and you can't necessarily see any adventitious roots, have that under whatever medium you put it in, whether it's sphagnum moss, perlite, pond, leca, water, there's going to be new healthy roots that grow from that part because sometimes they don't necessarily grow from the existing roots. So I would definitely submerge it up to here, guys. Okay, so I just wash it off a little bit. What I'm going to do, ooh, this root feels really good, guys. Um, I had the idea of maybe cutting her right over here because there's already a root attached to this top part. Um, but I think I'm gonna keep it as is like this. Put her into water and pop her under a grow light again. But yeah, guys, like this leaf was so pretty. It had this like green block situation. She was so cute. Okay, <laughs> but anyways, the philodendron snowdrift. Okay, the next plant is the Syngonium Pink Splash. And similar to the Aglionema, I just ignored her. I think it's because she's in a self-watering pot. So I don't know. I thought like I didn't need to water as often and then I just like totally forgot about it. So I'll just grab her. <laughs> oh my God, you are so sad. Okay, it's, it's actually worse than I thought. Wow, do you hear the crispinesses? I just need to shake it and you could hear it. There's also so much dust, so yeah, it really shows that I ignored her. And also, guys, did you remember this one was the one with the hitchhiker, um, Alocasia, Silver Dragon? This is what's left. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, yeah, she's in soil, guys. You know, the roots don't look bad. However, yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna take cuttings. And this really goes against what I say. I usually like taking cuttings from a plant that's well hydrated because obviously if a plant is well hydrated, it's more resilient. But yeah, I'm just gonna cut it in different places. Oh, these don't look good. These don't look good at all. Okay, I don't know if, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna cut wherever I want. Yeah, I'm just going to keep two nodes just so they have a better chance of rooting from either one of these. And I think for now I'm gonna put them in water. Yeah, guys, it doesn't look good. Everything is crispy. So although very sad at the bottom, let's take those leaves off actually. There is a bundle of adventitious, adventitious roots over here. And then the top part is green. Okay, it's looking, it's looking a little better. Unfortunately, I'm gonna get rid of the rest of the plant, but that's okay, cause I, I'm kind of excited to, and I mean, these might all die too. It's so sad, um, but here they are. <laughs> Sigonia Pink Splash. Okay, so we made it to the last plant. The last plant is the Hoya Latifolia Bay Bois. Um, it's just not doing well, and I want advice from you guys. I don't know what's happening, so, here she is. So she looks kind of sad. I'll put a picture um, beside this of when I got this 
and I put her straight into this like pawn substitute situation. And yeah, that was six months ago. So there hasn't been a lot of progress. What I'm seeing is that there's a lot of growth points everywhere. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, but there's multiple growth points, but I'm finding, I don't know if I'm laying this dry out too much. I think that's what's happening. But every time a new growth comes out, it just like dies. See, like you could see that there's like some roots and they look fine. So do I do this now? I'm scared. I'm like pulling and it's like tight in here. Yeah, there it's like stuck. Okay, maybe I won't touch this one. But if anyone has grown this Hoya, can you please let me know? Are they just slow? Yeah, I don't know guys. I'm very confused, but here we are. <laughs> please give me advice because I don't know what's happening. Okay, the last plant is the Hoya latifolia bay bois okay guys i guess that's it oh that was so hard um my back hurts <laughs> i think i was just tense i'm like oh my god i'm so embarrassed i'm showing this plant that's like literally dead and yeah if you've made it to the very end thank you guys so much i greatly appreciate it and i'll see you guys later bye